Um, I was actually asking you a question on Waziristan, and tomorrow, is, incidentally, is its third anniversary. Uh, but you stole my thunder. You already talked about uh, the futility of the, uh, the Waziristan operation. Um, so now I'll uh, move the discussion towards India. Um, India can play a very positive role in Afghanistan. What is, where is the hesitation? Is it on part of Kabul? They are hesitant to bring in more uh, Indians, or is it in Delhi somewhere where hesitation lies? I, I think uh, in the current Afghan dispensation, when Dr. Hani took over, uh, there was a certain hesitation for him actually uh, bringing in Indians and bringing in Indians could have played. Uh, as you remember, Dr. Hani suspended uh, or actually sort of put in advance uh, arms deal that was going to with the Indians. Uh, there was talk about getting some choppers. There was a question of training. Now, uh, Dr. Ghani is a very meticulous man, as you know. Uh, his, his experience is such that, that he has to cross his T's and dot his I's, and he wanted to give a full benefit of diplomatic uh, approach to Pakistan, and he wanted to do everything within his power to allay any Pakistani fear that there might be. And for that, he actually put a lot of cap political capital online. He went through all those motions, and after two, two years, two and a half years, he realized that Pakistan is not actually a political partner uh, to the people of Afghanistan, and Pakistan does not actually have a political partner inside Afghanistan. Indians, are the, if, you, if you compare, you know, the nature of the involvement, Indians have always had an involvement directly with the Afghan government, whether it was PDPA, whether it was Shah Zayar Shah, whether it was Saddam Sir Daoud, whether it was uh, uh, Karzai Bia, uh, uh, Dr. Ghani Sir, they have had a state-to-state -state relationship, and both civilizations are thousands of years old, and they would continue to maintain that. So even a little lull in that, uh, that does not mean much. As you see, the uh, Indians have uh, helped build the Afghan parliament. They are doing. Uh, they just did the Salma Dam, which is. And uh, in contrast to that, uh, you see what the Pakistani contribution has been. Uh, I remember when I was in Kabul, many, many decades ago, the main hospital used to be the Gandhi Hospital. If you remember. So. The thing of it is that Pakistan needs to decide for itself that if it wants to be a political partner, you know, Taliban is not the best house to bet on. The Pakistan's best political bet in the last 40 years was Hikmatiya. And you do the math. If this is a guy who was your best political bet, then you really don't have a political bet. Uh, I, I think um, the Pakistani method is not going to change. Uh, I don't suspect that. I hope that it does because it hurts us. People who, uh, as they kept saying on the east of Iran, if there is something going on in, in Kabul, it will hurt me in the shower, it will hurt me in Quetta. Uh, we do not want anything uh, of the sort that is happening on Kokham today. Uh, that is our region, those are our people on both sides. We do not want Pakistan and Afghanistan going to war, absolutely not. Uh, if it happens, it is going to hurt the Pashtuns and Afghans uh, across uh, across the German line. That is, that is not the way to go. But unfortunately, since there are no more NATO scholars to burn for Pakistan, they wanted to ratchet up things on the uh, uh, Durand so that they can bring to bear some pressure on the Americans and so on. Speaking of Pakistan, the key to peace in Afghanistan is locked somewhere in GHQ. Um, for how long they are ready to play this game? So long as there is no any, no punitive action and there is no negative uh, repercussion for that. You know, uh, like I said, the gravy train never stopped. Uh, I've never seen any other American ally using American money and uh, then turning around and giving it to people who are actually killing the Americans. No, no one did it. Germany didn't do it. Philippines didn't do it. Japan didn't do it. You name it, nobody has done it. Saudi Arabia didn't do it in that way. So this is something for the American policymakers to decide for how long. Thank you so much.